All right, everyone, welcome to the Tontes Demise Week 5 Recap. Uh, as always, we start with the defending champ from Gags to Riches, going up against Possum Magic. And once again, Gags falls. Uh, he drops to 1-4, and four, while Possum Magic quietly has on a, is on a three-game win streak. He's now up to 3-2. and two. Final score, 141.8 to 134.35. For Possum Magic, he had Russell Wilson, 36.5, Sammy Watkins, 0, Jermaine Curse, 13.5, Adam Humphreys, 8, uh, let's see, Lamar Miller, looks like about 7.5, Ezekiel Elliott, um, I don't know if he had a touchdown, Doesn't uh, I guess not, it's about 14.5, Hunter Henry, a little over 13. LaShawn McCoy, just under 15. Dan Bailey, a little over 8. And Minnesota Vikings defense, Yahoo says 13. I believe it was actually about 27 or 28. Because going into Monday night, the only player that was left for either team was the Vikings defense. And I believe Possum needed about 19 points to win. And like I said, he ended up with about 27 so despite zero from Sammy Watkins, he was able to get the win here. Um, for the Gags to Riches, Eli Manning, thirty, a little over 35. Devontae Adams, 25 and a half, two touchdowns there. Rashard Matthews, uh, six and a half. Des Bryant, 16. Marshawn Lynch, about 10. Doug Martin, um, 13 and a half. Travis Kelsey, 17.8, even though he, I don't think he did much of anything in the second half after his concussion. So all of those points actually came in the first half. So another factor that could have changed the outcome of this one with only a seven-point difference here was Kelsey missing the entire second half. Also, for Gags and his flex, Sterling Shepard, who broke his ankle, I think, maybe. Or maybe maybe not as serious, but one of the he was one of the Giants receivers who went down on Sunday. Only two points from him. Their line, your kicker, three points, and San Francisco's defense. You went with them over the New England Patriots defense. And I'm not sure if that how big of a difference there it was, but that actually might have cost you a win here. I'm not sure exactly what New England's defense did. But San Francisco lost the game, didn't do too too much there. Yahoo says 10. It's probably a little bit more than that. Or maybe right exactly 10. But anyway, uh, so Possum Magic moves up to 6th place, quietly on a 3-game win streak. And Gags, the defending champ, he is 1-4 and, and in 12th place. All right, going right down the line. Next, we had Skelhor Isotopes versus FC Bahoric. FC Bahoric gets the win here. Uh, for FC Bahoric, let's see, score was 166.2 to 149.75. Uh, for FC Bahoric, Sam Bradford and Keenum as quarterback. I think it ended up with about 37. AJ Green, uh, let's see, 36. Keenan Allen, 10.5. Pierre Garcon, 17.5. Kareem Hunt, 13.5. Gillis Lee, 5. Charles Clay, 5. Larry Fitzgerald, 11. Prater, a little over 6. And then the Rams defense, I believe, was either about... Yahoo says 15. I think it was about 24. For the Isotopes, Carson Palmer, 46.5. Alshon Jeffrey, 6. Tyreek Hill, uh, nine, almost 20, just under 20. Uh, Stefan Diggs, one and a half. Jonathan Stewart, two. Aaron Jones, um, let's see, 21. Cameron Brait, 17 and a half. Todd Gurley, only five. Graham Gano, a little over eight. And the Chiefs defense, I believe Yahoo says 12, so I think it was actually about 20, maybe a little bit more. Um, actually, no, it was probably closer to 15 or 18, I think, because they gave up a ton of yards and points there. But anyway, it wasn't enough to get a win here. Uh, it was 
Diggs versus Bradford on Monday night. Um, Isotopes had about a 19-point lead, just like the Possum Magic and Gags matchup here. But Diggs only got one and a half. And as you know, Sam Bradford went out. And FC got all the points for Case Keenum, which was the difference there. Uh, probably the biggest difference here, too, was... So it's Stefan Diggs, the highest scoring receiver in the league so far this year, and Todd Gurley, the highest scoring running back in the league so far this year. Uh, those two combined for six points. So that was probably the uh, dagger in the heart there of the Isotopes. And in defeat, they dropped to 1-4 and four in 10th place. FC Bohoric he moves up to 3-2. and two. He is in 3rd place. Next, Space Antelope versus New Gods, Mad Titans. The Huber Squash <laughs> versus the Huber, one of the Hubers. And the Huber Squasher, Space Antelope, wins 192.45 to 157.1. For Space Antelope, Brian Hoyer, 57.5. Jordy Nelson, 10.5. Doug Baldwin, 7.7. .7. T.Y. Hilton, 27.5. Uh, Mixon, uh, looks like 11.1. .1. Latavius Murray, only 3. Safarian Jenkins, 15. Danny Amendola, 15.5. Blair Walsh, about 12.5, 13. And your Cincinnati defense, Yahoo says 15. I think it was actually closer to 27, maybe 30. As for New Guys Mad Titans, went with Andy Dalton at quarterback, 39.5. Uh, plus him and A.J. Green both had long touchdown bonuses there. So it was more like 42 and a half. Crabtree, 20.2. Cole Beasley, only four catches but two touchdowns, 18 and a half. Uh, Smith Schuster, 9.8. Uh, let's see, Melvin Gordon. I believe most of his stats came from, uh, well, half of, about half of them came from receiving yards. Looks like he had 100 yards and two touchdowns, so that's about 25. He started Washington from Oakland, even though he was out, because I don't think you had much on your bench there. Uh, he got you zero. Jason Witten, 12. Le Le'Veon Bell, a little, little bit over 19. Uh, Boswell, your kicker, a couple field goals, a little over seven. And you went with Houston defense. I believe the Yahoo is correct, and they only scored one point. Uh, with that, New Gods Mad Titans, he drops to three and two, but he is still in fourth place, while Space Antelope moves up to three and two, and he is right below him in fifth place. Next, we have Everybody Ertz versus Mighty Midgets. Everybody Ertz wins 179.9 to 125.55. For Ertz, Jared Goff, 30 and a half, Golden Tate, 10. Deshaun Jackson, 15 and a half. Will Fuller, 20 and a half. Uh, Leonard Fournette, uh, let's see. Don't know how many catches he had, but he did have that long touchdown. So whatever he has on Yahoo is pretty close to correct. So about 34, 35. Frank Gore, looks like five. Jimmy Graham, 15 and a half. Gio Bernard in the flex, a little bit over five. Elliott, your kicker, a little bit over nine. And then Seattle defense, Yahoo says 23. I think it was a little bit more than that. It's probably in the low 30s. As for Mighty Midgets, Aaron Rodgers, 45 and a half. Brandon Cooks, 13 and a half. Kendall Wright, 8 and a half. John Brown, or no, Jaron Brown, I should say, uh, 7 points. Abdullah, 3. Foreman, uh, only 1 and a half. Kyle Rudolph, 16 and a half. Aaron Ellington, or Andre Ellington, I should say. I I'm getting all, in the, all these uh, Cardinals names wrong. Andre Ellington, uh, 15 and a half. Uh, Folk was your kicker at the time. I believe he is gone because he missed three field goals. Actually got you minus one. Uh, and then Buffalo Bills defense played them. And they lost to Cincinnati, even though they did okay yardage-wise. Um... Had a couple, they actually had a couple turnovers, so I'm not sure about the yardage. Yahoo says 16. It was probably right around there. 
Uh, but with the win, everybody Ertz, he moves up to 2-3. and three. He's in 7th place, while the Mighty Midgets, with that loss, drops to 1-4, and four, and he is in 11th place. Next we had Battle of the Former Roommates, Disco versus Dub C, uh, the frickin' Laser Sharks this week. And Dub C takes the win, 155.4 to 129.25. For Dub C, Winston, 15.5, Mike Evans, 10, Tyler Lockett, uh, let's see, 5.5, Aguilar, 20, he, had a he had a long touchdown, so 22. Isaiah Crowell, 6. Jaquiz Rogers, uh, actually only point two. Zach Ertz, 18. Buck Allen, 18. Uh, your kicker, Fairbairn, two, only 2. Jets defense against the Browns. Yahoo says 16. It was probably uh, closer to 23, 24, something like that. As for Disco, Matthew Stafford, 40.5. Amari Cooper, Still struggling, only one and a half. Jarvis Landry, 15 and a half. Martavis Bryant, uh, about eight. Carlos Hyde, only one. Shane Vereen, only two. Uh, Njoku from Cleveland, 14. Odell Beckham Jr., 21 and a half before going down with his season ending injury. Uh, Gostowski, a little bit over 13. And then the Steelers defense, Yahoo says 11. I think it was actually closer to 20 or something like that. Even though they lost the game, um, they did give up a ton of passing yards, but I think they had a couple turnovers and sacks and did good on passing yardage. So I think it was actually a little bit more than what Yahoo says. Um, maybe not quite 20, but probably 15 or 18. But anyway, it was not enough. Uh, Dub C gets the win. He moves up to 2-3 and three in 8th place. And Disco drops to 2-3, and three, right below him in ninth place. Finally, we had the matchup of the week. Both undefeated teams, Shawshank Athletics versus Hillbillies on PCP. And Shawshank sneaks the victory here, 162.55 to 158.05. For Shawshank, Tom Brady, 47.5. Kelvin Benjamin, 15.8. DeAndre Hopkins, only four catches, but three of them were touchdowns. A little bit over 27. Alan Hearns, four. Ajayi, five and a half. DeMarco Murray, uh, three and a half. Ben Watson, two. Randall Cobb, seven. Mason Crosby, two. Uh, but then, as you know, Jacksonville defense. Yahoo says 35. I think I actually wrote this one down. Uh, it was 47. So big difference there. Both you got you got 47 from Brady and 47 from your defense. So that is what 94 points from your quarterback and your defense. Enough to take down Hillbillies on PCP. He started Deshaun Watson. Ended up being a pretty good call here. He had 55 points. Only 16 completions, but five of them were touchdowns. Uh, Antonio Brown, 28.7. Chris Hogan, 21.5. Adam Thielen, uh, let's see, 8.5. Jordan Howard, 7.5. Bilal Powell. <laughs> Fuck you, Bilal Powell. He is back down to normal Bilal Powell. Only 5 rushing yards, so only .5 from Bilal Powell this week. Delaney Walker, 5.5. Duke Johnson, 17.5. Uh, your kicker was stuck up from Tennessee. A little bit over 5. And then you went with Detroit defense this week. Thought that they would be do well against Carolina, but they only had a couple sacks, gave up a ton of yards and points. Yahoo says six. I think it was right around there. Uh, so going into Monday night, I believe Hillbillies had Thielen and Jordan Howard, and the difference was about 20, 21, uh, but Hillbillies not quite able to get there. Obviously, with the uh, four-point margin of victory there, so you only got about the 17 of the 21 points you needed. Anyway, uh, enough to squeak by uh, this week and stay undefeated in first place. I believe taking over first place from Hillbillies. 
uh, is Shawshank. He's 5-0. He's first place. Hillbillies on PCP, 4-1. You are in second place. I believe that is it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, those are all the matchups from week five. Disco is eliminated from the knockout pool, and I think that's pretty much it. So, all right, that's it for week five. Good luck to everyone here in the week coming up, and we'll see you again next week.